What is going on, guys and girls? Happy, happy Saturday. It is Ghost Robo. We are here for a little bit of a super show. I have to do this all in one take. Normally, I am able to edit, but I'm in the car traveling, and therefore, it is one take Robo. So, let's get going with the goods. This past week, we've played a lot of Borderlands 2. We started Resident Evil 6, and that game was really kind of crummy. There were definitely parts that I enjoyed, but it just did not live up to par, did not live up to the level I expected, did not even live up to what I feel Resident Evil 5, that the plateau that that was sort of at, this was a big a big drop in. So I decided to make that into a mini walkthrough. I addressed that in a vlog that was misinterpreted by a lot of people. I am not quitting full walkthroughs. I am not turning everything into a mini walkthrough. It's just a way to showcase some games that otherwise would not be shown at all. And that way you have a better decision to purchase or not purchase. You know, you can read a review, but for me, it's a lot better to watch the actual game and see, hey, how does this play? How does it play over a longer period of time? Rather than just read some, you know, keywords like, this game is exhilarating, or this game has really crummy controls. Well, to physically see it helps you, helps me, it probably helps everybody decide if they want to buy the game, rent the game, trade the game, whatever. Um, so I thought it was a fun and good way to cover it, but not have to do 60 parts or 90 parts as a freaking long game and be bored with it. You know, I'd like to be excited about all my videos and excited about the games I'm playing, and it's not really much of a change. People got a little crazy in the comments, um, but basically just like, hey, I'm going to be making cooler videos that are more fun for me and therefore more fun for you. Enough of it. Now, the big news, the mice. The freaking Spy Mouse. Do you remember Spy Mouse? If you don't, go check out last week's Super Show, and you'll remember that there was a Spy Mouse in my room. Now, the Spy Mice became more like the Spy Mice Force in the past week. Um, we had at least 20 mouse sightings, um, something I've never, never had in my life. My house is like... It's an, it's an older house. Like, it's built, I believe, in the, in the 70s or 80s, but it's not, like, gross at all. Like, I, it's clean, it's nice, it's it's good. Um, and my family lives there. We only have one little miniature poodle dog. It's not like, oh, we have cats bringing in animals. Instead, we just randomly out of nowhere this month have all these freaking mice. So we got all kinds of traps. Like, you know, I'm, I'm Ghost Robo, so we're going to pull out all the stops, right? Just like Ghost Robo Army, we have to make things very, very, you know, just cover the board. So we had, you know, regular snap traps. We had circular capture traps. We had long rectangular capture traps. We used peanut butter and cheese and the mice did not respond. All of a sudden I'm seeing them everywhere in every room. I was completely like freaked out. I'm such a baby when it comes to this stuff. Um, so I was like sleeping in other bedrooms where I didn't see mice, but then before you knew it, I had witnessed a mouse in almost every room in my house. Now, we got a little bit tricky and decided to go all out on traps and we put up at least 10 in different parts of the house. Maybe 15. I've captured five mice since then. And I think there's still more. How is this possible? After the first two, I was like, dang, they're all gone. They're all gone. And then it was like, nope, three, four, five. Last night, I was going to bed. I was going to turn off my light. Right by the door, there's a trap, and I see a mouse. I honestly just freaked that out, ran out of the room, didn't even turn off the lights, and slept on the couch. The mice are very dastardly. These mice have back cannons. They have jet packs. They have evil monocle eyes. They have ears growing on their back. These are dastardly mice, and I know they're here to try to take us down, but I'm not going to let them. I'm not going to let it happen. I promise you, we will keep fighting the mice, and I will keep you updated. Gosh, I just don't know what I did to deserve this. Why are they <laughs> Why are they attacking our Ghost Robo HQ? Hopefully, like I said, I'm moving in now about 10 days Jeez, that's close. Kind of scary. But uh, I will be avoiding all the, the mouse shenanigans, hopefully, for good. Now, on to something interesting. Frankenweenie was a movie this week that is kind of based on a classic, and it's made by Tim Burton and Disney. It's stop-motion puppetry, and I did not know... Well, puppet figures. They're not like... It's not like Muppets. Um, and I didn't know if this movie would be any good. Ghostbot really wanted to see it, so I took him to see it, and it's actually freaking really good. I think it has a very high potential mm -hmm. of becoming a Disney classic because it's sort of one of those simple yet very fun um, and rewatchable movies. It's only like 87 minutes. It's got some memorable characters, some really funny moments, and spoiler alert, I'm just, it's just going to be about five seconds, but if you haven't seen the movie or want to see the movie, close your eyes, cover your ears for about ten seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, there are mutant animals in the movie that I totally did not expect. All these different creations and, and mutant creatures that attack the town, and it never shown in the trailer, so it's a really nice, uh, fun twist towards the second half of the movie. But, okay, end spoilers. Frankie Mini is actually a really solid movie. I recommend it to anybody who has a younger brother. I even recommend it to you if you're, if you're like me, if you enjoy fun stuff. It's not like a real cutesy Disney movie. It's kind of a very good story. It's in black and white. It's very artistic. Um, some of the puppets are very eerie. You can tell that it has that Tim Burton flair. They tried to keep it a little bit... Um, like, still sweet and innocent, but there definitely is some, like, weirdness to a lot of the characters, and there's, like, a really crazy teacher, a demented evil girl with dots for eyes, and then, you know, the parts that I mentioned earlier. Um, so I give it four out of five. I think it was actually really good. I personally had more fun at that than Looper. I think Looper is probably a better movie, technically, but I had more fun at Frank and Weenie. Um, 
very comparable to Paranorman if you saw that earlier this summer, but I think this one's way better. And like I said, I really predict this to be a modern Disney classic, one that's rewatched over and over again by kids across the world. Now, for next week, Resident Evil 6 mini walkthrough is wrapped up. Borderlands 2 is going to be coming strong and steady until that is done. Hopefully in the next couple days here, um, getting down to the last three or four missions. But the big thing is Dishonored. That is a game, as I rotate away from the sunshine that loves me, um, that is a game that I've been looking forward to all year. It's basically a combo of a Bioshock, a shooter, teleportation. I just really like the art style. I really like that it's like this very, um, I don't know if you call it, like steampunk or Victorian style and sort of demented, eerie with the masks and different things. I think it's going to be a phenomenal game. Um, that one is not going to be a mini walkthrough. Again, like I said, I'm still, the games that I think are going to be awesome and want to share with you guys, that is going to be great and that's going to be a full walkthrough that I'm excited to play through and will be playing through for you guys. XCOM also releases this week. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with that because it's kind of a, it's very story focused, but it's also very um, systematic. You know, you're doing these missions that are kind of similar, and I don't know how that translates to video. I put up a demo if you want to check that out. Um, I might do some coverage, might not. Not entirely sure. I am doing the Medal of Honor Warfighter beta. I put one video up for that. It's probably up now. If it's not, it's up in a couple hours. Um, that's actually really cool, really interesting. I love their buddy system. Check that video out if you want to hear more about that. I went from like zero interest in the game to a big interest when it comes out in a couple of weeks. Um, we'll be doing some other things as well. I have a very cool idea for a different kind of commentary. Um, it's one where I'm basically going through the history of my high school because I think there's some interesting moments there, and I love hearing stuff like that from other people. Um, so you'll be seeing those videos roll out throughout the week as well. I'll be putting up A Ghost Life on Monday, as always, and we'll be back with the Super Show on Saturday. This one's a bit shorter, and again, it's in one take because I am away from home base. Moving in 10 days is going to be giving you guys updates about that. Um, Again, thank you very much for all your support. Love you guys. We're getting into the awesome time of the year. Dishonored looks just so super, super sexy and sweet, and I cannot wait to play it. And XCOM is supposed to be a real darn good game. I know a lot of people have been saying this week might be the best week of the year um, so far in terms of quality. That you know the embargoes are still up, but both titles have been getting very high praise, um, sort of in metaphorical you know terms from from reviewers and from people who can't exactly comment, but they let you know that, hey, this game is pretty darn good. So thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Watch out for spy mice. If they're in your area, dang, duck and cover and be careful because they will multiply and attack you like no other. Thank you once again. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Have a great, great weekend. I love you all. I'll see y'all soon. I almost said a different intro. Dang, better be careful. Whew! Caught myself. Those mice, they're getting into my brain waves. Till next time, guys and girls, we'll see you all. Light. Hey, quick update. The Dishonored Embargo may end early, so those videos may be going up before Tuesday at midnight. I'm not entirely sure. You're just going to have to wait and see. I'm kind of in a wait and see mode as well, but just wanted to put this update here at the end of the video so you would know what's going on. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash ghostrobo for all the latest on that. Either way, it's going to be an awesome series. Make sure to bring your likes and favorites to part one. I'll make it extra long and awesome for you and be bringing out a lot whenever I'm allowed to post. Thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend. Again, 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 again. See you later.